Okay, so pag-usapan muna natin to. Ito yung question natin uh, that I posted uh, yesterday regarding radicals. I know na it's a little challenging for you guys kasi sinadya ko yan kasi I just wanted to test kung kumusta na yung ab abilities ninyo. If you see uh, yung questions na yun, <clears throat> that means you're already part of Team Like on Facebook. And uh, I just wanted to give you something na uh, mag mag-incorporate ng lahat na napag-aralan na natin regarding radicals. This is the question, no? Sabi, 4 times the square root of 342x to the fifth y squared over uh, 12 times the square root of 156x cubed y. Again, ang gagawin muna natin is tatanggalin lang natin lahat na pwedeng tanggalin para maiwan, tayo, maiwan sa atin yung mga, uh, mga natitira na hindi pa ding ilabas sa radical or hindi din pa ding cancel. Now the first thing that you could do pag ganito ka complicated yung problem, okay? Is to find things to cancel. In this case, yung 4 at saka yung 12, since ang 4 is divisible by 4 and 12 is also divisible by 4, what you could do would be ikakancel natin yung 4, gawin natin siyang 1 kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, yun pa lang, nabura na natin yung 4 sa taas. Lugit na rin yung ilanin. The next thing that you could do would be to deal with the ones na nasa loob ng payong. Okay? And you can do that by basically splitting all that you could. Sa case na 342, doon muna tayo. Okay? Ang 342 is divisible by 2. Okay? So, 1, 7, 1. And then this, okay, is divisible by 3. You have 5. 7. This is also divisible by 3. And that would uh, give you uh, 1, 9. 19 is... Ano na yun? Wala na tayong magagawa sa 19. Okay? Yun na yun. Uh, ang, ang mga numbers lang na pwede mo i-divide sa 19 are 19 and 1. Ibig sabihin, tapos na tayo dun. Yung x naman, you have limang x. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, dalawang y, kasi yung exponent niya. So, y, y. Okay, yan yung nasa ibabaw. I like starting out with the one and the bottom muna, para pwede ko i-cancel at pwede ko i-cancel sa loob. Sa so, ilalim, you have 156. Yung 156 can be divided sa 2. That will give you 78. Okay? After that, 2 ulit, pwede ulit. So, you have 3, 9. Okay? After that, yung 39, okay? You can divide this by 3. It will give you 13. Ngayon yung 13, same thing. Wala na tayong magagawa sa 13 kasi ang mga factors niya are just 13 and 1. Ibig sabihin, we stop the there. Okay? X niya tatlo, you have 1, 2, 3, and isang Y. Now, what do we do next? Ika-cancel lang natin lahat ng pwede i-cancel. May 2 sa taas, may 2 dito. Tatanggalin natin siya. May 3 dyan, 3 dyan, 3 dyan. Okay? Dahil isa lang ang 3 sa ilalim, may iiwan yung isang 3. Okay? Now, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. Like, like we said, yun na yun. Ibig sabihin, yung final answer sa taas, okay, mayroong may iiwan na 3 times 19. So, yun na yung 3 times 19, that's 57. Okay? 57, yun yung number na nasa taas. Sa ilalim naman, na inaiwan yung 3 natin kanina and then you have 2 times 13 which is 26 okay now that uh, 26 maiiwan din naman siya dun sa lugar na yan kasi wala na silang mga kapares okay doon naman tayo sa x you have lima dito sa taas tatlo sa baba so pwede natin buhin yung tatlo dito buhin na natin yung tatlo sa taas and now we pair off yung mga pwede natin ipag pair in this case, dahil dalawa yung x, pwede natin siya ilabas. Yung x mapupunta dito, sa labas nito. Okay? Ngayon, tapos na tayo dyan. Wala na tila x ilalim, so wala na tayong iiwanan. Sa so y naman, may y sa taas, may y sa baba. Makakancel yan. Misumin may isang natita ng y. At dahil mag-isa na siya, wala siya kapalit, so may iiwan siya doon. Okay? So, anong yari? x times... Uh, the square root of 57y kasi yun lang natira sa taas and then you have 3 times 26 uh, the square root of 26 and then wala ng x and y 
Yan yung naiwan. But the thing with uh, uh, rad radicals is, bawal nga na magkaroon ng naiiwang radicals sa ilalim. So, what you would do would be, i-multiply mo ba both sides sa square root of 26. Para mailabas natin yung 26 na yan. So, sa ilalim, magiging 3 times 26. And then you have x times 57 times y times 26 sa ilalim na yan lahat ng payong. Okay? So, sa ilalim, magkakaroon ka ng uh, 26 times 3, which is which is 60 plus 18. So, that's 78. And then, sa taas, you have x times the square root of, and then you have 57 times 26. Okay? So, that is 42, 4, 3, 34. Then, you have 14, 11. May multiply lang natin. So, 2, 8, 4, 1. So, you have 1,482 y. Yan ang ating number na mapupunta sa taas. Okay? Bakit siya lumaki? Kasi nga, may multiply lang natin yung 26 dun sa 57. Alright? So, that's all you need to do. Okay? You just have to make sure na lahat ng mga pwedeng burahin ay nabura ninyo. You have to make sure na lahat ng may kapares ay nailabas ulit sa payong. That way, okay, you can make sure na uh, uh, wala ka na kailangan i-cancel, wala ka na kailangan ilabas, and mabupunta ka sa pinaka-simplest form ng answer. So, the answer is this. Now, like I said, yes, I designed it to be a little challenging for you guys, but ang kailangan nyo lang maintindihan is yung process ng pag-simplify, okay, a process ng pagka-cancel, process ng paglalabas ng mga bagay na may kapares na. Alright? So, I hope you got that right. Again, this is our, yung mga links natin sa facebook.com uh, slash team like that is where I post my exercises na for free. youtube.com slash team like that's where I upload the video. So, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. That way, uh, malalaman ninyo as soon as the new video posts. And also, click here then dito sa baba if you want to see the other videos already posted. Happy learning, guys. Keep learning, keep believing, keep praying, kaya niyan. Ancha, ancha.